Hey everyone and welcome to another HD tutorial and in this video I'll be showing you how to download and install the Firefox 3.1 beta 2. Um, I already showed you guys how to install the, Fire, to the Safari 4 beta so here we go with Firefox 3.1 beta 2. So just open up Firefox and go to any popular search engine, I'll use Google for this one, and type in Firefox 3.1 beta. And the first link which I'll try to put in the description for you guys is going to be the Firefox or the Mozilla.com website and it's going to tell us obviously Firefox is Firefox 3.1 is not completely fully out yet but um, it's gonna have a ton of new features obviously and it's available in as you can see here over 50 languages so uh, we can see by the top it's available number one in a ton of languages and number two as we see across here available for Mac OS 10 for Windows XP Vista and later versions and earlier versions and for Linux so I'm gonna hit the download button for Windows All right and it's going to pop up right here in a second saying to save this file or to download it. I'm just going to download it. Actually, no, I'm going to save the file to my desktop. And the first thing I want to tell you guys about is that not all of your add-ons are going to be compatible. If you do have add-ons that you're using in your current version of, Safari, of uh, Firefox, which I'll check just by going to help and about Firefox, this is version 3.0.6, so I'll hit OK. Um, so it's downloading the file. Not all of your add-ons are going to be compatible. So I'll let you guys know which one of my add-ons actually aren't compatible with Firefox um, in a later review. I'm going to do a later review of Safari 4 beta and a later review of this beta. So I'm going to double click on it when it's done downloading and hit run. And it's going to begin extracting so I'm just going to exit out of um, Firefox itself to give this the most room in RAM for actually extracting and finishing the installation. So here we go. Once it's finished extracting, it'll bring up the installer. And if UAC does pop up, just hit continue. You're going to have to continue and allow everything for the, install for the installation to work completely. And just for this tutorial, I'm going to unload Firefox Preloader because I have a feeling it's not going to work if I don't. So, quit Firefox completely. So, welcome to the Safari 3.1 Beta 2 setup. Just hit continue. And I'm going to do a custom setup here because I don't want to use this Firefox as my default web browser quite yet. And this is exactly where I do want to install it. Now, it's going to replace your current version of Firefox. And you can see right here, it has a 24, um, it'll take up roughly 25 megabytes in your, on your hard drive. So I am going to put an icon on my desktop because I eventually want to drag it up here to my rocket dock. And number two, I do want to put it in my start programs folder and I don't want it in my quick launch bar. So I hit next and next again and it will begin installing. There we go. So I'll just come back to you guys when this is done with the installation process. Okay, as you can see here, it is completed with the setup, and I'm going to leave the uh, Launch Firefox Now button ticked and just hit Finish. And this will finish the installation of Firefox and open it up. And you can also see up here, they've nicely put that icon on my desktop, so I can show you guys later how to put it in the Rocket Dock. So right now I'm just going to let it open itself up. It's going to take a while for the first boot for obviously any new piece of software or hardware. First, it's checking my add-on incompatibility. It says the following add-ons are not compatible. Look at all those add-ons that I have that are not compatible. So I told you guys that these are not compatible. I'll check now. And it was it was not able to find any add-on updates. So I'll just hit finish. And I won't be able to use any of those add-ons in the new beta version of Firefox. So that's pretty interesting. So I'll let uh, Firefox finish uploading or finish opening and obviously it's going to open in more than one tab so it still has this new tab button which is an add-on I got and it says Firefox 3.1 is coming so this is the feedback button if you do find a bug you can file a bug or hit the feedback button and tell them I'm just going to hit exit because I know the incompatibility is going to happen in a beta so next we're going to do um, basically we already know that the beta um, is uh, incompatible with a lot I just go to tools and add-ons and we see here there's a lot there's two of my themes are not compatible okay if you wanted to use a Mac OS 10 theme it is not compatible so I'll just hit uninstall since it's not gonna work and this graphite theme is uninstall because it's not gonna work and that's basically it so I like this theme I'm using it right now so I'll hit exit and I've heard a lot of good things about it so I'll type in I still have my Google toolbar here I'll go to the acid 3 test and just check this out the first link is acid 3 and we told you already that the Safari 4 beta got a 100 out of 100, and Firefox 3.1 beta stops just short at 93. Uh, YouTube loads 
pretty fast. It still remembers my username and password. Yes, it does. It's pretty good. Um, it still is going to have the same right-click options. Um, I still have the download, download them all add-on. You know, not much different. I still have the uh, the loading progress bar up here, so that's an add-on that still works. But that's basically it. So if I wanted to um, use that tutorial that I did for you guys on how to use a background, um, if I actually found a video I wanted to use as a background, say maybe this one, I can still go to that image, right click it, and hit, um, where is it here? I can still hit, oh, set as desktop background, right here. And it'll bring up the same window. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about the speed of Firefox 3.1 Beta 2, and I'm going to show you now how to add it to your Rocket Dock. Right now I'm going to unlock items, just drag out the old Firefox icon, it'll disappear. Take the Firefox 3.1 Beta icon, drag it in, and that's all you have to do. I'm just going to lock it up again, and we're done. To put it in your Quick Launch, same thing, right click, delete, delete the shortcut, and then take the new one and drag it in. And now that we're done using this shortcut, I'm just going to delete it from my desktop, and that is it. So I hope this tutorial was helpful, and if you found it helpful, go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any tutorial ideas for me, send me a message, subscribe, and I'll get back to it in a request video. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace.